Hello Tarot people, wow we've got our reading for today now, check this out, this is like pretty full on cards in their energy, so my most wrecked card, this is my, <laughs> quite symbolically so, this is the fighting card of the five of swords and the six of pentacles, let's take a look at these cards, I mean they came out together so we're going to do the reading together but I'm going to take a look at them one by one first of all so that we can have a quick rundown and there's a lot here so there's traditionally upside down you know I mean the right way up this is um is a card talking about fighting you know it's about defeat and surrender as well as winning and losing so this is win-lose dynamic in the five of swords it's a win-lose dynamic which is which when it's upside down we're, we're kind of like in negation of so there's different ways of reading this upside down cards like I've spoken about before there's the kind of fun way of reading it which is like okay this energy is on the move it's leaving us now we've been struggling with this you know trying to get on top of this of, of, of ourselves of winning and losing being afraid of losing and being having a habit of wanting to win all the time and we could have this strong duality of needing to you know fight for something and we're just getting over this conflict story inside of ourselves it's a suit of sorts so it's all about our mind it's all about this mental idea that something is really good and and that's what we need to do and that something else is really bad and that's what we need not to do so there's fighting against something as well as um as well as losing something and be feeling defeated and letting go and um feeling like we've lost and so there's these two energies in this card and they can be a little bit extreme as well so when a card is upside down for me it can be that we're actually you know we've maybe been in a fight a struggle we've lost and we've we've seen the winning inside of the losing we've seen the losing inside of the winning we're coming through this dynamic of understanding that it's not about judging things as being right or wrong like the mind likes to do but it's about really accepting that hey in every loss there is a gain and in every gain there is a loss too so this is super important um, and the realization of this is what actually helps us transcend this dynamic of having to be in competition all the time this is a very competitive card and when our minds are very stuck in the idea that we need to be better than somebody else and then this is what a card that's going to come up and show that for us so that's one way of it another way that this can be seen upside down is that we're kind of denying this dynamic inside this is where that this is where this whole dynamic is in the shadow and we don't actually see it clearly so we're not really being true with ourselves here and this dynamic is kind of sabotaging some parts of our life unconsciously because we're not really aware of it we might repress our own aggression for one reason or another we might this this is like typical passive aggressive behavior when we think we're not fighting but we really are fighting you know we think we're not being competitive but we're really with like full-on competitive inside and you know we might deny our own conflicting nature quite often and we'll get excessively defensive and we'll try and defend ourselves when we don't really need to um, so another thing this card can be as well it could be telling us when it's upside down that we might give up too easily you know we might surrender too much we might give over our beliefs to somebody else too fast too quickly we might surrender you know uh, in five seconds when really we should you know it's asking us to stand up and fight to stand up and 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 believe in ourselves believe in our own truths and voice those truths and share those truths and be clear about what that means to us there's a lot of self-judgment in this card as well because this is a relationship with other people but it's also a relationship with ourselves and there's a lot of inner criticism going on in this card and we may become our own worst bully and when we deny this inner criticism um, it becomes very self-destructive on a subconscious level and we may actually project this onto the outside and ha you know have this bully victim um, dynamic between ourselves and other people being either or in this card represents them both and when we repress our own aggression and we repress mm, you know the, the the positive expression of it it comes out in these ways um, this is very much you know a self-defeating dialogue that that 
is us speaking badly and negatively towards ourselves and putting ourselves down and, and you know and fighting ourselves this is us being our own inner critic and our own bully towards ourselves you know this is also you know trying to fight with people that when it's upside down this could be trying to fight with people that you know don't know how to lose and, and it's like wrestling with pigs you know everybody just gets dirty and really only the pigs enjoy it Let's take a look at this card quickly and then we'll join them together. So here we have the six of uh, pentacles, which is this card where, where the, the scales represent this karmic giving and receiving energetic, where, where the six is quite balanced. But there's these two beggars that are receiving in a very sort of measured way. Now, when this is up, so this is a, so this is a giving receiving card. Most of the sixes are all about giving, receiving. They're all about sharing. There's this dynamic and balance and equality going on. And this is the quality in the physical world is very much related to money. It's very much related to your physical health and, and your body and how you relate to your body and your work. So it's, there's a lot of deserving in this card, you know, feeling what you're feeling out, what you deserve, feeling out, um, becoming aware of how worthy you feel you are. And because according to that level of self-worth that we feel uh, in our life, that's the, the that's what we project out into the world as what we deserve and we will receive accordingly what what we what we feel we are worthy of or the level of worthiness will be reflected in how we receive. So there's a poor man mentality here. There's a kind of a victim poor man mentality. There's this rich energetic as well of wealthily giving. And so there's this giving receiving dynamic. When it's reversed like that, that give give receive dynamic is usually either you're either kind of getting over. I would like to say that, you know, in some ways that this is an extreme giving and an extreme receiving sometimes. So this is like the typical entitlement story when you receive, you know, and you think you're entitled to it, to something. And, and it's also the enabler that's enabling somebody to be a beggar. So if somebody begs on the street and you give them lots of, you give them some coins. Now, you know, at one time or another, somebody started to beg for a reason. It might have just been that they saw somebody else begging and they thought that works. I'm going to go and do that. It's not black and white. Nothing ever is. But if you enable that beggar by giving him something, then you're teaching him it's OK to be a beggar when he might well be capable of getting up uh, and going and going and finding a job for himself. But this is the easy option. So there's this entitlement between parents and children a lot of the time, too where we're actually giving in a way where we have to give because this is our child and, they, and yet sometimes we over give and the child gets complacent about receiving and just expects it to come instead of instead of actually you know getting off their ass and going out there and making and making a living for themselves which in one time or another they're going to have to do you're going to have to stop giving in that way but there's a little bit of this dynamic taking place it's like the it's a shadow giving and the shadow receiving so there's the shadow giving that comes out in a duty or i have more so i have to give and the shadow receiving is when you know we're receiving but when we're receiving without gratitude there's no gratitude in our receiving so we're kind of receiving blindly without you know feeling truly thankful for the for the whole exchange and how beautiful it really is so there's a little bit of this going on here there might be also a fear of getting down on your knees and asking for help because when this is upside down sometimes it's it's important it's important to ask for help when we when we don't feel like we we have enough and we might not feel like we deserve enough and so that might be why we're getting like the beggar's portion all the time in our lives and sometimes we need to stand up and, and be proud, but being proud means asking for help sometimes, means, means being proud of where we are and understanding who we are. Um, that sometimes we need to be able to allow other people to give to ourselves and, and accept something, accept generosity from other people. And there could be an issue between in this story. I say I relate to that quite a lot. I don't really accept generosity very well. I don't ask for help very well. I would say that, that that's part of my shadow for sure. Um, these two cards together, when we join them together, they have a they have this reading of um, of having this this conflict, energetic, and at the same time this this uh, this lack of self worth, energetic, where we're not really feeling very conscious. I would love to imagine these two cards as a reading for me is that oh I'm getting over this competitive side of me that that's the that that might be you know ashamed of not feeling worthy 
worthy enough or admitting to not feeling worthy enough and that's why I'm you know not uh, um, stepping into my abundance and I'm only receiving you know very small amounts of material gain instead of what I really should step into and deserve I'd love that to be the idea but there's more in it as well for me I think as well you know there's this part of this unconscious part of me that's that has this sort of masculine competitiveness that wants to be right all the time and there's a bit of a know-it-all here and I, I totally relate to that and um, uh, I see that in my my um, my family let's say <laughs> and how you know how it's been a um, without mentioning any names uh, how it's been a continuous influence to me of, of needing to be right all the time for what reason you know it doesn't make us more important there's this need to be right and there's need to there's need to be intellectually cleverer than somebody else that's not the point it's not this is not the point for me um this is comes from a not feeling worthy enough as well so these two cards join in this lack of self-worth if i've got to prove myself intellectually and mentally and so i've got to show the world how smart i am that you know it's it usually is coming from this idea that hey i'm not good enough on on one front so i have to show myself up and my ego identifies with with any aspect of it of of my personality that it can that seems a little bit better than somebody else's so they can jump on that and use it as a as an excuse to feel good and to feel like I'm winning you know and so there's this dynamic that um, I, I definitely have been so aware of for many many years of my life and hopefully I'm moving through this and, and yet today I'm going to look into this and allow this whole energetic to to be more conscious in my life so that I can see when I'm falling for this the old stories and the old tricks um, I hope this has been useful for you in some way. There's a tons of things in, in this side of this stories, as you can see. Um, I hope these two cards um, are giving you a message of reflection for today so that you can become more aware of your own stories and your own patterns and maybe move beyond them and, and allow yourself to step into a different level of abundance and f by accepting maybe a, a lower uh, admitting to and, and and being aware of low self-esteem if you have it and um, how that might reflect in your life in many different ways. Lots of love and I hope that you have a fantastic day.